Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about a common question not just with Windows 10. It, um, I, I got it many times uh, in the past few days but I get this pretty much all the time and uh, for some reason people uh, don't know this. Um, I get the question of where is Microsoft Word? Where is Excel? Where is PowerPoint in Windows 10? Well, I got a news for you that's not part of Windows 10 and it never was part of Windows so if you have uh, Microsoft Office it either came with the PC you bought for some reason because you paid for it or somebody installed it or you installed it at some point but no Microsoft Office is not part of Windows it never was part of Windows Microsoft Office is a different product. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are software that you usually pay for uh, and that are not existent in Windows. And a lot of people are convinced that, no, no, Office Word is part of Windows. No, it's not. It never was. Um, that is a, an urban legend, if you say. Uh, and I get this all the time. I go to my clients computers and they say uh, hey um, I installed you know somebody installed Windows 7 where's Word it's not there oh I had it before that's because you had installed it before <laughs> so it's not there but you know what if you're not working with your computer and if you don't really share much with other people you know text and stuff like that or if you just have some documents that you wanna open from time to time you don't actually need the real, th the real thing. Um, there are some uh, alternatives that you can use. Um, of course, one is Office Online. Um, OfficeOnline.com, I believe, is the address. Let's just try it. Yep, Office.com. That's Office.com. It's Office Online. This, with a Microsoft account, lets you use in a web page Word. Excel, PowerPoint, you just need to sign in with a Microsoft account for it to work. It's totally free and it's the real thing but in a web browser. So that's the first thing that you can try for. The good side of this is that it's compatible 100% with every Office uh, documents that you might want to open. And it lets you save on OneDrive and on your computer so you can actually get these documents anywhere which is a good thing if you want to have something in your computer you don't have to you know you don't have the internet sometimes or don't want to use the internet to do that because office online does require you to have a connection to the internet then there are two nice options one is LibreOffice which is by the document foundation can download now this is a complete office suit it has the equivalent of every Microsoft Office app so Word Excel PowerPoint access and so on there's an equivalent of that and it does open and is compatible with Microsoft Office documents and it's at libreoffice.org and I'll be posting by the way all three websites um, URLs in the description below the video. And from Apache, you also have Open Office from Apache, which is at version 4.1.1 as we are now. You can download Open Office. It is also an equivalent, free of charge, of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. It opens Microsoft Office documents. So these LibreOffice and OpenOffice are free. You download, you install, even if you don't have the internet, they will be there, you will be able to do documents. And so, you know, for just a small user that doesn't open or doesn't work documents much, why pay for Microsoft Office when you can have these free alternatives? They're not, they're, they're actually, you know, pretty good and pretty powerful. So uh, these are the options that you have available. So if you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, we are here for that. 
and uh, don't hesitate to ask any question and maybe you have a video you'd like us to make why not ask away so thank you for watching and by subscribing by the way you'll know when videos are online and i'll post tons of them of windows 10 so why not join us